So for this next challenge, we're going to create this vase revolved shape here in the bottom right hand corner using a spline and a spline that's been dimensioned. And this is a good skill to learn. So if we click on the plus and click on create part studio, after a few seconds, this will appear on the bottom as a tab. We could drag this along to reposition it and we could right click and rename it as well. So once we've created that new part studio and renamed it, we're going to look at this model as a reference. So we're going to go into this sketch here and click edit. I'm going to flatten that and we're going to create this dimensioned okay, sketch here. So I can see here that the total height is 200 from the origin it's 100 down. Okay, and we've got a 15 millimeter line and a Let's have a look, what's this one at the bottom? 25 millimeters. So let's do that first. Let's click sketch, front, N for normal. Okay, go to line and press L on the keyboard. We're going to hover over here just to wake up our origin and these dotted lines come up. I'm going to click on that. Okay, and again, we're going to click here and here. And we're going to dimension this, pressing D for dimension or select dimension. Okay, 200 and enter, D for dimension again, this was 15, and dimension this one here to be 25. At the moment, it's still not fully defined because we need to dimension it from the bottom or the top, okay, to this center here. There we go, so everything's black, which means it's defined. So what we're gonna do now is use a spline. So a spline is a curved, basically, and as you'll see here, every time we click, we create a control point or a node which allows us, okay, if we click escape, all right, to create a very curvy design. And again, we can control, okay, each one of these points to create a desired shape. I'm going to delete that. And if we have a look at back our reference, we've got this spine, okay, it's created using one, two, three, four points, and it connects to the bottom and top. So I click on spine, I'm going to go one, okay, two, three, four, and I'm going to click escape, like so. So we're going to dimension, use a D for dimension, or click in dimension, from that bottom point, or bottom of a line, should I say, to this point here. We're going to dimension this, okay, and we're going to use this, okay, as a reference as well. So let's go and check the size of that. So 65, okay, by 60. So 65 and enter, okay, by 60. And if we go back to this reference here, we're gonna, okay, dimension this actual control point here as well, so 40 by 30. Okay, from there to there. Press D for dimension again, and Go from there, like so. Right, let's go back. So it's 40 wide, right, right. Right, next one, if you have a look at here, zoom out. Okay, so this point is 80 from the top, 40. Okay, so from there to there is 80. Okay, and from there to there is 40. And if we have a look back here, that no point here, your control point is 15 by 25. Okay. 15 now. Oops, perhaps if we have a dimension selected. Okay, so we've got 15 by 25 up there. Press F for fit, to fit to the screen. Okay, everything is defined because everything is black. So there's no blue line which could continue to move. And hopefully that is correct. We can check it later on. And I'm going to now, okay, come up to revolve. Because I was in an active sketch, okay, it's already selected my sketch automatically. If I've already saved my sketch, this will be blank and I need to select the sketch there. 
the axis is this vertical here and you can see it's revolved all the way around because we have full selected if I've selected the wrong axis so I select say that one you can see it creates this totally different shape and again if I select this one here it creates a different shape as well so you've got to select the correct axis which is that vertical one there we've got full goes all the way around 360 one direction goes in one direction depending on the angle so we've got say 90 degrees that way and again you could flip it okay behind and in front of that sketch as you can see we've also got symmetric and if we go to top view uh, 90 degrees is split into two so it's 45 degrees that way and that way and again if you type in 100 or 180 should I say and you've got 90 degrees from the sketch that way and 90 degrees that way because it's symmetric if we click on let's have a look two directions and get to, go to the top actually you can see here as I change the numbers here or drag this actually you can see we've now got control of where okay that revolve starts and finishes okay and it's all controlled using these dimension in these arrows here so you can see what we've got okay is actually a slight sort of offset okay from that sketch okay so let's have a look so yeah we've looked at full one direction symmetric and two. now we want this to be full okay and because we're this is the first feature we're creating a new if we were adding something or we wanted to be a separate part we could click okay new or add depending on what we wanted and if we wanted to remove that from something we click remove or if we want to create an insect intersect and we created a solid one after a surface okay and we click tick so same as always if you've done anything wrong or we need to check anything you can right click on a sketch and edit and it comes back into the sketch and you can change any dimensions or lines and then we could go back into here the feature and we can edit that as well just in case you've rotated it okay not enough or too much you can go back it next thing we're going to do is you can right click on this and you can rename it if you wish and we can also assign a material so material wise we're going to type in abs so it's top to option and click tick so if we go to our design here and just save that the last thing we've got to do is we've got to add a shell of five millimeters on the inside so five millimeters on the inside so we go to shell click on that surface to remove five millimeters okay and it's going on the inside so it's not going on the outside for example and tick so you see we've got this vase shape now and it's hollow okay inside with the top removed now if we go to back to this so let's have a look at the mass so the mass of that is 0 0.285 okay if you need to if yours is a different unit okay you can go in workspace units and change okay your units in here if you wish so if we just check that again because my memory is like a sieve okay 0.285 let's go back to this one okay 0.285 there you go so everything's been drawn accurately okay and the material of ABS has been applied and we've got that exact same mass so that's an easy way of checking if you've dimensioned that and created that okay with a level of accuracy if that value is different then you need to check the number of different things you need to go back and check your dimensions you need to check uh, for example if you've revolved it correctly so using the right axis okay and the right okay direction or number of degrees so we want it to be full for example and also you have to check that you apply the shell so if you've done the shell a different dimension again that will affect the mass Thanks for watching and if you found this content helpful please click like and subscribe and also check out any other resources and videos created using the links in the description. I'll see you on the next one.